Sometimes it feels like evil is going to win. And sometimes it can look like that for years and years. But my friends, let me give you some hope. Evil doesn't win. We have a great example of this with a queen that you may not have heard of in the times of Israel. And it starts actually before her with Queen Jezebel, a really evil and wretched queen in Israel, and her husband, King Ahab. They are both so evil, God deals with them in a way that is really horrendous. They both die really awful deaths. And we would hope that evil is done, but it's not. Now, on the other side, in the, in the southern kingdom of Judah, we have King Jehoshaphat, who I've talked about in my last couple of videos. He's a God-fearing man. He is righteous, and he pursues God. His son apparently did not get that message because his son marries Athaliah, who is the daughter of Jezebel and Ahab, a very big problem. Now, we don't hear much about her for a while. So after Jehoshaphat dies, his son Jehoram becomes king. He is evil, probably drawn astray by his wife. And he only lasts eight years in Judah before he is done. He's dead. So his son is Ahaziah, who becomes king. Ahaziah follows in the footsteps of his father and is evil, does what is not pleasing to God, only lasts one year. Well, we think, well, maybe someone else will come along and this will be all great. Ha <laughs> ha, Ahaziah's mother, back to Athaliah, the daughter of Jezebel and Ahab, she decides, hm, I want to be in charge. So she slaughters the royal family and pronounces herself queen. She's now running Judah because she is evil, had evil thoughts, and put evil into practice. And it looks hopeless. But my friends, even in the darkest times, good things happen. Ahaziah's sister actually snuck his son out, Joash. We're going to talk more about Joash later. But Joash is hidden in the temple of the Lord with the priest who is faithful to God. And in the meantime, we know we don't know much about what's happening. We just know that this evil queen's in place. I'm sure all of Judah was just freaking out about the evilness of this woman who slaughtered her own family. But what we can look at this story and see is that even when evil looks overwhelming, there is a kernel of hope always. And kernels, when planted, grow. We know that God is faithful. God's going to show us how it turns out. I hope you'll join me next time. But know that God is faithful even in the darkest of times. Blessings on you today.